This video is brought to you by PetsOurKids2.com. Visit PetsOurKids2.com and use promo code PET15 for 15% off your order. They will be donating a portion of their sales to a pet with cancer. So buy a product and email them a picture of your pet with that product, and they will email you back a picture of the pet they donated to with your sale. Visit PetsOurKids2.com today. Hey guys, thanks again for tuning in to Grooming by Rudy. Uh, on the table with us now is Bianca. She was in a past video. I think we named that video, How to Trim Maltese Bangs. But uh, Bianca here is a sweet little Maltese mix and we're going to show you a brush out and blow dry with this. So let's begin. Before we even get started guys, I like to just inspect, just uh, you know, feel around, feel for knots, feel for any maybe lumps or scabs or anything like that. Um, so, you know, like right here, you can see that, you know, Bianca has a little bit of knotting right here in her ear, but what you could do with that is kind of just start to pull it apart a little bit, loosen it up. Uh, if it's too hard to get out with the brush, we may just go ahead and clip that out. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to start brushing her out. Just like in our past videos, it's important that we brush out in the same manner. So we're going to start with the two back legs, we're going to work up the torso area, and then we're going to finish off with the front legs and the head. So let's start. Just kind of, kind of brushing with the growth of hair. So Work up the leg. This is the hawk area here, so you kind of, the brush is designed to kind of get into areas like that, even up in here, in her little tuck up area. Be careful in this area if there is any knotting, guys. Don't try not to pull too hard. It's a very sensitive area for them. But you're just going to work up the leg. Just continue to brush downward. Lift the leg, get the inside of the paw. And anytime you feel or hear that scratching sound, you know that there's a little bit more uh, undercoat that you kind of have to brush. So already we're just about through with that one right rear leg. And what you want to do is with your, with your steel comb or your greyhound comb, um, it has two edges, the wider edge and then the finer teeth. Uh, go through it with the wider teeth right here. You can feel a little knot. So go back to the brush. Um, don't yank it with the comb. There's no point in hurting the dog when you can just go back to the brush. And once you've done that, then you go through it again and there you go. And then to, uh, to really fine tune it, you switch it around to the finer teeth and go through it with that. That way you're getting all of those knots out. Like right up in here, very thick, knotted. So again, go back to the brush. There you go. And now that that whole leg is all brushed out. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing on this side. Uh, we're going to work up the torso as well. So, okay, guys. So now we're just working up the torso. This is where we left off on that right rear leg. So um, we went ahead and did the the left already, uh, but just for the purpose of the video, we want to. Uh, continue moving along. So we're also brushed out the tail. Okay, so now we're working up the torso. If you notice what I'm doing with my left hand is I'm just kind of grabbing the hair, not pulling her hair and I'm just kind of supporting her, her skin. Uh, that way uh, we can get the brush through what we need to. And, and I'm kind of creating a mental line up the torso. You see what I'm doing here is kind of working around like that and then going up a little bit further and brushing out what I was holding. You see? So the top stuff is easy to get to. So I kind of just like to get that out of the way. 
bring it right up to her, her front legs here. And then what we'll do is we will come down to the lower part of the torso here, her chest area. And again, I'm supporting her skin because if I don't, you see, I'm not going to get anywhere. So you kind of have to do this. If you notice what I'm doing here, even, even if you just used your hand like that, you're pulling up on the coat so you can get underneath. And the under stuff, the under body here is a little bit harder to get to. So what we can do too is we lift this front leg like this and we'll get like this underneath. Now you can get that armpit area and underneath here like that. Now we're just kind of getting underneath here. Okay, so again, we'll just go through it with our comb where we left off. We left off here, so let's go back to that area. And again, just comb through. And you can see that we got most of it. And there you go. Okay. All right, so now we're going to continue moving forward and we're going to do the front legs here, the neck area, and then we'll finish off with the head. So what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of, I have my hand underneath her armpit, supporting her leg. I, I don't like doing this. Um, you know, I kind of like supporting the leg like that. So this way I'm kind of holding her up at the same time. Uh, of course, when you get down to that point, then you could do it briefly. I'll switch hands and I'll get the back of that leg, just like that. Okay, again, kind of go through with our comb. By doing it in the same fashion, as we mentioned in past videos, guys, what happens is uh, you don't miss spots as opposed to jumping around and if I do this and then go here and then go here I'm kind of forgetting where I left off and you're gonna miss spots so do it the same way you become more practiced at it and the dog gets used to it uh, more quickly if you brush in the same way all the time and practice keep practicing you should brush a dog out like this at least two times a week, three times, depending on the weather, where you might live. Okay. So now here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get underneath her neck area. Just kind of gonna hold her head up, get underneath her neck, just like that. And I'm gonna kind of move this noose forward so I can get this right in the back of her neck. Come here, sweetie, it's okay. Usually, you know, they don't like their faces being brushed. So again, I save it for last. I try to do what I know the dogs don't like for last. You know, and she's got a little bit of matting here by her ear, but uh, we're going to see and address that, uh, see if we maybe clip it out or use our thinners with that. Uh, Okay, we might be able to get that out. Let's just see if the brush separates it. Um, what I'm doing is you don't want to put the brush with, with any little knotting or matting like that. You don't want to put the brush to the skin. So what I'm doing is I'm separating that knot with my fingers and keeping it away. And I'm actually supporting it so that she's not really feeling too much pulling. Um, all of I'm, I'm holding all the tension and it, it's it's working out so again you don't want to you don't want to brush one area too long because you will brush burn the dog but you can see how that that little knot is just coming out with a few simple strokes you know there it is this minor knot that happens all the time you can clean your brush out this is a universal slicker brush you can clean your brush out just simply by pulling against or with the 
grain of the brush and you can see how it just kind of cleans right out. And we'll just continue to do the rest of the ear. I'm supporting the ear with my index finger and my thumb. And then she's got a little bit of nodding in the ear, but not terrible. You can separate some stuff with your fingers too, like that. If you feel some nodding, you can do a little finger separation like that, and it will allow the brush then to grab it and get it out. And again, don't brush one area for too long of a period of time. And you can kind of flip the ear over like this. And now you can brush the inside of that ear. You also may as well, while, you, while you're doing that, you can grab this side of the face as well. And this isn't easy, guys. You know, you have to uh, get practiced at it, and you also have to get the dogs used to having it done. But uh, like I said, Bianca's here once a month, and uh, so she's so used to it. There's a little bit of static, but there you see that the comb goes right through all of that. And we'll just go over what we just did with our comb again. And the comb just kind of flying through, so. There you go, right up to, see right, right here, a little bit of knotting, go back to the brush, back to the brush. Don't yank that knot, always go back to the brush because the brush will work it out slowly and without any harsh pulling or anything. And see, I'm using the corner of the brush to get that little knot right there and you'll feel when it comes out. You'll feel it, you'll hear it. There you go. Then you can go back to the comb and you'll see that it just kind of dissipates into the slicker brush just like that okay so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna reposition her come here bianca what a baby you're such a good girl you're doing so good you're doing so good bianca look at you you're so pretty this dog is just gorgeous we love this dog. we've been doing her since she's six months old so she's a veteran already okay so we're just going to continue doing what we were doing and uh, we left off at this ear so what I'm going to do is rather than stay focused on this side of her head I'm going to actually work on this ear um, and you can usually tell if people are right-handed or left-handed on their based on their dogs because um, you know, one side will always need a little bit more brushing than the other. So she has a little bit of nodding right behind her ear here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a couple of strokes and then just jump to, to here. So again, we're not brushing one area for a real long period of time. There we go. And we'll do that ear flip again on this ear. the inside of the face here, flip it back, and then we'll start working on her head area. So her two ears are done, so now we can kind of focus on her, her head. I'm going to switch angles here. Right here you want to be real, real careful. Watch the eye but you can kind of get that brush close. Just do it very slowly. What I'm doing is I'm holding her face still with my left hand here. I'm not hurting her in any way. Just kind of holding her to support her face. And it's brief. And right here we're using the corner of the brush. We're getting her little mustache here underneath her face. Again, just supporting her here. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna switch off and do the same thing on this side and then grab with our left hand and do the same thing. So we're using both hands. There you go, guys. 
So Bianca is basically all brushed out and not free. She has no knots in her. So she's ready for the tub. Always brush prior to bathing. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna put Bianca in the tub now and then we're gonna finish her up and show you how we blow dry her. Good girl. I love you. Such a good girl. Okay guys, so Bianca was bathed in cream rinse and here she is on the drying table. For the purpose of the audio, I'm gonna be narrating this whole segment of the video. What I'm doing here is we're just using our hands at first. We're separating her fur uh, just to kind of get the undercoat a little bit dry before we go at her with the brush. It will make the brush uh, go through her a little easier. So again, we're just kind of just using our hands at first and separating the coat to get the undercoat dry before we start brushing. We're using a K92 blow dryer on her. It does not have a heating element in it, guys. So make sure if you're doing any kind of blow drying at home, you're not using a blow dryer with a heating element in it. Okay, now that we've gotten some of the undercoat dry, we're gonna start doing the brush. We're gonna be brushing in the same fashion as we did with the brush out initially. We're starting in the back. We're just starting with that right back leg. And what I'm doing here is I'm separating the coat, just separating the hair so that it dries and we're brushing at the same time. We're kind of pinpointing our brushing exactly where the dryer is hitting. Now what I'm doing here is I'm lifting the right leg so that I can get the inside part of the left leg. And we'll do that vice versa as we're working on the left leg. And just a lot of separation of the coat you want to keep using the brush to separate the coat and point the dryer wherever your brush is dogs vary guys Bianca's really good at this because we've been grooming Bianca since she was six months old and uh, she really doesn't mind it but um, some dogs will not take to the blow dryer as well as Bianca And we're just going over spots that we may have missed so if you see me jumping back to the leg it's just because I want to get that a little more fluffy and we're just going to continue to work up the torso so what I'm doing here is I'm lifting so that the skin kind of comes up and I can get underneath it uh, we're not hurting her in any way. We're just kind of lifting her skin so that we can access her underside a little bit easier. 
and you're really using both hands to help separate the coat. The front legs are usually a little bit of a challenge, um, so again, it's one of the things that we save for a little bit later. Just kind of moving Bianca's face out of the way because I don't want to catch her eye with the brush or anything, so just uh, using my hand to keep her face away from the brush. And it's a lot of work, it's a lot on your arms and your hands because if you notice the brush is just continuously moving. Uh, you don't want the blow dryer to hit a spot for too long without brushing because then the coat is just going to curl. So you really want to keep the brushing process active. Now I'm just lifting Bianca's head up so that I can get her chest area. Really just working on getting all of the curls out simply by brushing in different directions. So we're basically just making our way around her now, um, finishing up the left side of her torso. We're going to start in on her left front leg. So again, we're just kind of lifting the leg, get underneath the armpit here, um, and again, just getting the inside of the right leg simply by uh, allowing the air to go underneath her. So I'm using my left hand here just to separate the coat and really just get the air right down to the undercoat so that we can continue to fluff dryer. We're not lifting the leg too high, we're not pulling on the leg. We're basically just holding the leg. If they do pull away, just let the leg go so that you're not hurting them in any way. And try to get the leg back onto the table as quickly as you can. And, you know, give her a little break. You could always lift it again as I'm doing here. You know, kind of do a little blow drying. Let the leg go. Let her, uh, let her get back onto the table. So now we're going to start on her head. Um, we're going to try to do this ear first and uh, just kind of pulling the ear away from the head and again just separating the fur. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to flip the ear over and kind of just lay it onto the brush and pull slowly as the, as the blow dryer is hitting the ear. Kind of combing both sides at the same time. Now we're getting the back of the ear here. So I'm pulling the blow dryer back a little bit too so that the air is not hitting her ear canal. And I'm using my thumb to kind of cover her ear canal best I can. kind of brushing her bangs here. And the key to the a good fluff dry guys is to try not to let the hair dry too quickly. You really want to brush it uh, while the hair is, is, is damp. So now we're working on her right ear. Same thing. Kind of just keeping her face out of the way here. Get behind the ear a little bit. Kind of jumping around a little bit because I don't want to work on her head too long. Uh, they, you'll lose their attention. And, you know, just like in this scene right here, she's pulling away a little bit. So kind of just let her go and just reset her and uh, kind of bounce around a little bit so that you're not holding the head in a, in a still position for too long a period of time. I'm kind of just holding her head still with my left hand while I do it just so that she's not uh, pointing her face at the brush as I'm stroking. Uh, just I don't want to catch her eye or anything. So I'm really just trying my best to keep her face as still as I possibly can. 
And again, we're just going to a different spot again so that we're not holding the head for too long. This is why I like to save the head for last, guys, because most dogs tend to not really like their head being done too much, so uh, I don't like to do it up front. Um, you can see here that the blow dryer is kind of just hitting her right in the face, and uh, you know, dogs. Some dogs like like the air. Uh, if you ever seen a dog in a car, they love to stick their head out the window. Um, Bianca really doesn't mind it too much. It's just again. Uh, you know, their their attention span is very low on most dogs, and they just kind of want to be let go after a while. So, um, you know, I'll do it for, you know, 30 seconds and kind of let her go again. Now I'm just holding her face and kind of just using my hands here. You know, I, this, this part's a little difficult because, you know, you're dealing with the eyes and the muzzle. So I'm really using my left hand to kind of protect her eyes. And, um, you know, it, it may seem like I'm doing this really fast, guys, but I do this every single day. So uh, I'm, I'm very accurate and I know what I'm doing. Uh, but if you guys are just kind of doing this for the first time, uh, work this area very, very slowly. And be careful to not catch uh, the corner of the eye or the eye or the nose uh, with the brush. Kind of just going over the legs now um, and try to get them uh, a little bit more straight and, and fluffed out. Just kind of giving her an overall look and, and going back and uh, w from where we started. Guys, when you hold the brush, uh, you kind of want to, don't, don't hold it so tight in your hand. Um, kind of hold it like a, like a drummer uh, would hold a drumstick uh, so that it, it creates a little bit of a shock absorber. Uh, this way you're not brushing too hard. Uh, you know, if you hold the brush too rigid, uh, the brush is going to come across uh, the skin very hard. So you want to kind of finesse the brushing a little bit and, and just hold it with your, your fingertips as opposed to your whole hand. Okay guys, so Bianca's back on our finishing table now and um, just kind of going through her with the comb again and uh, just making sure that there's no little knots that we may have missed. Uh, this is why it's very important guys to always brush prior to the bath because if, uh, if your dog even has the slightest bit of knotting and you bathe your dog, it's just gonna cause it to mat up and it's gonna tighten up the knot. So what we're doing here is just kind of going through her again and uh, just making sure that if we missed anything, we're, we're, we're getting it out. So these are the spots you really wanna check behind the ears, the neck area. If you did miss any spots, it's usually there or right here, I feel a little bit of a knot. So again, we're just gonna go back to our brush and just you know work that knot out. Again, don't yank on it with the comb. If you feel a knot with, with the comb, just always go back to the brush I can still feel it there. Just kind of locate the knot with the comb and then get it out with the brush. And I'm using the corner of the brush here. And now it should come out. There it is. Just that little tiny knot was uh, what was causing that. So again, just little tiny knots might still be in. That's why we're going over with the comb. I'm taking the noose off here and kind of just getting her neck area. There's another little knot I feel, so I just wanna, again, just get it out with the brush and uh, go over it again and there you go. The comb should just be sliding right through the coat. Again, behind the ears, if you did miss any spots, it's usually gonna be right around there. And Bianca, again, is just such an angel. She just basically lets me do everything I need to do. She's such a sweet dog. So again, guys, the comb is just sliding right through her coat. And there you have it. Such an angel, this dog. She has a beautiful coat. It's like cotton. 
Okay, guys, so give it up for Bianca one more time. She's such a sweetheart. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Check out our radio show. It's called Groomer Humor. We'll leave that link down below. And guys, if you want to leave a nice comment, you might be featured in our next video. Once again, on behalf of Anthony and I, thanks for tuning in to Grooming by Rudy. Mm -hmm.